Hello. Um, I'm Herwig Baumgartner, the Applied Studies Coordinator here at SciArc. And it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Yun Sato. Uh, Yun is here from Tokyo and is uh, currently uh, conducting a four-day workshop in um, one of our verticals. And uh, it's going to wrap up tomorrow afternoon. So for those of you guys who are interested in, please join our review. It's going to be in the afternoon. Uh, just a few words about Yun. Um, he graduated um, from the Faculty of Engineering at Tokyo University uh, Architecture Department and established Yun Sato Structural Engineers in 2000. Uh, Yun is also an associate professor at the University of Tokyo and previously worked at Toshihiko Kimura's office. Uh, he received the Japan Structural Design Award in 2009 and received his Doctorate of Engineering degree at the University of Tokyo in 2013. Through collaboration with architects, workshops, uh, with students and research in his laboratory, Yun Sato develops fantastic lightweight uh, ductile structures and transparent and translucent structures that serve as filters for environmental substances. Recent collaborations include Extreme Nature for the 2008 Venice Biennale <coughs> and Balloon with architect uh, Yunai Ishigami, House and A and Naoshima Pavilion with architect Soyo Fujimoto, uh, Sunny Hills Japan with architect Kengo Kumba, as well as class uh, structure workshops in Stanford University and workshops at Harvard. Uh, we, ex we are very excited to have Yun here and working with our students. And without further ado, Yun Sato. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, thank you, Harry. Um, uh, this is really a pleasure uh, for me to be here. Uh, two years ago, uh, Hernan and uh, John Bong uh, in in invited me to have a workshop at here. Uh, and it, it took two years to come here, for me to come here. Uh, but uh, uh, this time, uh, finally, I could join uh, uh, Elena, uh, Elena's uh, studio. Oh, that's, my, uh, that's really uh, exciting, and um, uh, I'm enjoying now oh, so much. And so uh, thank you for uh, Elena and also Harry uh, to arrange uh, my uh, visit to here uh, so much. As I uh, as introduced uh, by Eric, um, I'm uh, working uh, in uh, Tokyo University. He, I have my lab in my school or oh, in uh, researching uh, the structure, uh, and also oh, I have my my office, uh, uh, practice office, uh, for engineering. So uh, uh, this time I'm gonna uh, introduce some projects and uh, and also uh, what I am thinking uh, recently for research. So, um, uh, uh, but um, uh, these are all, all I want to tell you. Uh, but uh, uh, usually. He, he, it takes five hours for me to tell uh, everything. So, uh, but, uh, but this time, uh, I'm gonna try uh, to make it uh, one hour. Uh, so, uh, uh, a little uh, uh, quickly, uh, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, but uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, um, um, uh, I can, uh, I, I will try uh, to tell you uh, what I'm thinking now. Uh, uh, basically, I, I like, uh, I prefer uh, to uh, compose the structure uh, with the slight elements, uh, like thin elements and uh, 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 like slender elements or thin plates or uh, those uh, uh, elements. And also, oh, I'm uh, focusing to glass or some other materials in my lab. So uh, I'm researching uh, the glass structure uh, uh, a lot. So uh, using those uh, transparent material or translucent material, or, uh, I'm always trying uh, to make the structure uh, transparent or translucent. And uh, trying uh, those structures, I recently feel oh, the, uh, those transparent or translucent structure uh, will work as a filter uh, for uh, uh, environmental elements. 
Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure you know uh, the word, uh, Japanese word, komorebi. It's uh, uh, sunlight uh, comes uh, through leaves uh, in the woods. And um, uh, it's really an uh, uh, attractive word. And, those, and, uh, and some other words uh, we also have. Uh, that's uh, kind of uh, expressing uh, the atmosphere uh, of the uh, comfortable uh, space or natural space. Um, uh, like these uh, transparent uh, structure uh, will generate those uh, komorebi space or some other uh, natural or, or natural scene. Uh, so uh, uh, how to uh, manipulate or analyze uh, those naturalness uh, or uh, some other uh, environmental or matters uh, will be uh, uh, those methods uh, will be uh, also uh, the structure or um, uh, also the uh, parameter uh, of the, uh, 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 how to say, um, uh, those methods uh, can be uh, uh, kind of target uh, uh, of the structure. Uh, to realize those structures, uh, the dynamics operations and the geometry operations uh, will be uh, performed. And also, oh, I'm always trying the workshop uh, in, uh, in a year, uh, almost uh, four or five times a year. So uh, uh, in those workshops, uh, uh, I'm showing uh, how all these methods uh, will work. Uh, what I'm saying, uh, dynamics operation uh, is like this. This is a glass structure project uh, uh, completed in this spring uh, in Netherlands. Uh, uh, it is called Park Groot uh, Fibersburg. Uh, it's a visitor center uh, with uh, the architect Junya Ishigami. Uh, this is a really simple idea uh, that uh, uh, these glass sheets are only the structure, or vertical structure or for this building. Uh, and. Um, uh, when the uh, thin glass plate uh, was given the cur curvature, uh, it comes really strong against the buckling phenomenon. So uh, the, the, these glass wall uh, can uh, support uh, the roof, uh, and also uh, it re uh, the, those walls uh, can resist uh, the uh, wind load. Here's a um, uh, buckling analysis uh, of the uh, curved uh, wall. Oh, and um, uh, here uh, it is uh, uh, optimization software I have developed uh, for, uh, for this project uh, to, uh, uh, to search uh, how the curvature uh, should be given. And also uh, the distribution uh, of uh, uh, beams uh, will be uh, important. Uh, uh, the, uh, the load uh, should be e uh, uh, distributed ev evenly e to the glass. So uh, the assemblage of these beams uh, are really e e important. And also uh, to make the structure uh, slight, um, uh, this project uh, was um, uh, really e typical or, or experiment. Uh, extreme, extreme nature uh, in Ven Venice Biennale uh, 2008 it was like this. Um, uh, four small uh, greenhouse uh, was built. Uh, and um, uh, the architects, Junya uh, Ishigami, he preferred uh, the building to be he really transparent because uh, uh, the building is for uh, plants, uh, I mean, uh, the plants are, are uh, uh, located inside. So um, uh, he, he said uh, uh, the columns and beams uh, should be really uh, thin, and the glass should be also thin. Um, uh, it, is all, it is really uh, easy to say than done. Um, uh, I, I asked him, uh, is that your matter or my matter? <laughs> Um, um, uh, how to realize uh, the thin elements uh, was, uh, uh, of course, he had a, a little idea. Uh, 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 he, he knows the uh, word uh, controlling the buckling phenomenon. Uh, but uh, uh, 
uh, he, he didn't know how, uh, how the detail, or in detail, or it works. So I have uh, developed uh, the idea uh, how to control the buckling and also uh, the reducing the uh, stress uh, will be the uh, big, big matter. And finally, I have developed uh, using the uh, heating uh, uh, method. Um, you know, the steel uh, was shrink uh, when heated a lot, uh, like uh, 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 by, bar by gas burner or, or uh, welding, uh, it will shrink. So uh, uh, using that uh, phenomenon, uh, I have uh, developed uh, the process uh, to reduce uh, the bending stress uh, like this. This is a bending uh, stress diagram. Uh, uh, for the column, uh, a little or bending stress will happen. Uh, but uh, using this technique, uh, we can uh, remove uh, those uh, bending stress. So, uh, and, and also, uh, I have developed uh, the uh, optimi optimization software uh, for this pro project uh, to find the uh, randomly located uh, columns, uh, where, uh, where the, those columns uh, should be located. And finally, e the e two meters high uh, greenhouse uh, could be composed with uh, uh, only 16 millimeter columns. And uh, uh, this, oh, uh, around six meters high a greenhouse uh, was composed with uh, only 32 millimeters uh, column. And trying these uh, structures, um, uh, also oh, oh, I, I have got an uh, uh, idea uh, to compose the structure uh, with slight metal or frame uh, with, uh, with glass. So uh, I'm now researching in my school oh, this stained glass structure. Uh, it is composed uh, with uh, these slight elements and uh, glass will work as a compression element. It has uh, a lot of uh, uh, problems uh, to solve, uh, but uh, finally e e just one wall uh, could be realized in Japan. Um, it is in Tokyo or for the apartment house. Uh, uh, it's, it is just now or only one wall or could be realized, but uh, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I, I, want, I want to try uh, to realize more. Uh, and, uh, and also I, I'm, tr I'm trying uh, this uh, frame pattern uh, will be e optimized uh, to have uh, stronger uh, performance. Uh, and, uh, and I'm um, expecting uh, the wall could be not only the shear wall, or, or it will or support uh, the gravity of the building uh, in the future. And also uh, for, to make uh, the uh, structure slightly, uh, make the structure slight, uh, we have to uh, analyze uh, the buckling phenomenon uh, really in detail. So uh, the condensation of the eigenvalue equation uh, is the, uh, one of the way to analyze in detail. Oh, it's now going on, uh, but, uh, 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 but finally, uh, uh, these, uh, like these frames uh, will come really slight. And also, oh, I'm uh, researching the glass welding, uh, but uh, maybe this time I'm gonna uh, go through. And um, uh, uh, to make uh, the uh, uh, to make the uh, structural elements uh, slide, um, uh, the optimization optimization uh, algorithm uh, is necessary. E, uh, I think uh, uh, some of you uh, are, uh, don't like using uh, the word optimization uh, because um, uh, it is getting classical or word. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm feeling in the structural engineering, uh, or uh, even if it was a normal building, uh, I'm, uh, we are always uh, trying the optimization uh, of the structure. Uh, so. Uh, 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 
So uh, this time, yeah, uh, uh, in, uh, in this workshop, uh, um, I'm trying uh, to let the students uh, to uh, try uh, the optimization, uh, to use the optima optimization software, uh, which I was, uh, which I'm uh, developing. Um, uh, my, my algorithm uh, is like this. Uh, this is community center uh, in Kawatane Onsen uh, with, with architect Kengo Kuma. It has like this uh, polyhedral shape. Uh, and uh, for this shape, I have developed uh, like uh, this software. Uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, whole, uh, uh, whole structure analysis model. Uh, and um, uh, the, uh, how to say, um, uh, polyhedral shape uh, was uh, searched uh, to have a um, uh, stronger uh, shape. And in this case, uh, the, the, these colors, I think um, uh, it'll be good uh, to show at you at first um, the sample. This is a sample of the uh, uh, glass structure uh, which I have planned, but uh, it was not uh, realized. It was uh, canceled, so uh, uh, it couldn't be realized. But uh, uh, like this glass structure, uh, I have once planned, and in this software, uh, once I uh, calculated. Uh, the safety ratio will be shown uh, by color. Uh, the blue is showing uh, uh, enough uh, safe, and the red uh, is uh, not not uh, not strong enough. And um, uh, from blue to green, yellow, orange, uh, uh, the orange is still all good. Um, uh, it has uh, uh, enough strength. Uh, uh, only the red color uh, is uh, uh, too weak. So uh, the, uh, you can see here are the red elements, and uh, uh, some of them uh, are red. And in this uh, software, uh, I have uh, coded uh, the uh, geometrical manipulation uh, like this uh, to be smoothly uh, the curvature uh, can be changed. And when I uh, change uh, the shape uh, with mouse uh, like this, uh, manually, the, the color uh, will change every time. And you can see the red color around here uh, has uh, disappeared. But uh, around here, uh, it, is, uh, it, uh, it comes red. Uh, so uh, uh, what we have to do uh, is uh, uh, to find uh, the shape uh, with no red. I think it will take time so, uh, uh, to delete uh, the red elements. So uh, uh, all right, uh, what, do we what do we have to do is uh, 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 like that. So um, uh, not only a polyhedral shape, uh, uh, like free curve shape uh, is also applicable. Oh, but uh, polyhedral shape or uh, free curve shape is uh, still a uh, classical uh, way, uh, I, I think. Uh, the class, uh, I think classical or uh, image of the optimization. But uh, uh, this method uh, is really applicable uh, for uh, many kinds of shapes. Um, uh, like this winding uh, tower, or it is uh, the project in Sydney now going on. Uh, it has 50 meters high, and uh, it has uh, like, like this ribbon, uh, ribbon like shape. It's winding into the air, or, and uh, it has rectangle, rectangle section, uh, and um, uh, it is twisted uh, like this. So uh, uh, this winding shape and twisting angle or is the, the geometrical parameter uh, of the optimization. So uh, using that uh, parameter, uh, we can uh, optimize uh, the shape uh, like this. Um, uh, it will be performed uh, like this. Um, you can see the, the, uh, the section, uh, section type. Uh, rectangle or section uh, is assembled like this. And uh, in this case, uh, you can uh, change uh, the winding shape like this. Uh, and also, 
All right, uh, and you, uh, now you can see the color. Uh, if I change the shape like this, yeah, it comes red, of course. And, um, and also, I have coded uh, to twist uh, the element. Uh, it is working. Uh, it works like this. When I uh, calculate like this, uh, uh, it is all blue. But uh, 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 at here, uh, when I uh, turn uh, the section like this, uh, the smoothly the uh, uh, section uh, will be twisted like this. So uh, what I have to do is uh, this is already uh, the red elements are, are disappeared. So uh, uh, when I turn this. Yeah, red will ha happen uh, like this. So uh, I can find uh, the uh, uh, optimized way, uh, optimized uh, angle of, of uh, twist uh, like this. And uh, I like coding uh, by myself uh, uh, in a uh, programming uh, language, uh, but uh, uh, I, I think um, uh, Grasshopper or, or some other or three dimensional or modeling soft, uh, software or is good, good, to, uh, good to manipulate uh, the geometry. Uh, so uh, combined with my software, or these uh, the, uh, uh, the, for example, the Grasshopper uh, will work uh, as an uh, optimization software component. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, drawing uh, the uh, model or in the Rhino and Grasshopper. Uh, and finally, uh, in this uh, Grasshopper uh, script, uh, finally, when I push the button, uh, my software will come up and uh, the color uh, will be displayed. So every time uh, you change the shape uh, at here, or you can change the shape at here and push the button uh, and you can see the color. Uh, so uh, uh, this iteration uh, will, will be understood as the optimization process. And then, um, ah, uh, and, uh, uh, and in this case, uh, what, uh, uh, what is unique uh, for uh, my software uh, is my software uh, is not, uh, not coded as a plug-in uh, for the Grasshopper. Uh, just, auto, uh, just if it was executed, uh, automatically uh, the input file will be uh, uh, imported and, and uh, calculation uh, will be automatically uh, finished and, and the color uh, will be displayed. So uh, uh, after, uh, in another uh, project, I will show you uh, the, how this software uh, will work uh, in, in a um, uh, different way. So uh, uh, this uh, this algorithm uh, is really applicable for uh, another uh, type of shape. Uh, this is a typical one. Uh, the stacked one uh, is uh, another. Uh, when I calculate uh, this one, uh, the red color uh, will be displayed. And um, uh, in this case, uh, I have coded uh, to slide uh, the union, uh, unit by unit, uh, like this. So uh, when it was cantilevered like this, uh, it comes red. And um, uh, of course, it was uh, stacked in the uh, uh, right way. Uh, it comes blue. Uh, with two units, uh, it is easy to understand uh, uh, without using uh, this software. Uh, but when it comes uh, like this, uh, it is uh, really hard to know uh, by uh, uh, our brain. So uh, uh, when, uh, when hundreds uh, of units uh, were stacked like this, um, uh, these softwares uh, will work uh, uh, in a, uh, the, the, uh, this software uh, will be useful. And not only those uh, complicated shape, uh, more simple shape uh, will be applicable. 
uh, this house in A with Sofujimoto has uh, a lot of slabs uh, in a different height. Uh, and um, uh, when the slab uh, was located uh, uh, in this way, he, there are some uh, short columns uh, will happen. And short columns uh, will, will come uh, harder and stronger. Uh, so uh, the load distri distribution uh, will be optimized uh, by uh, controlling uh, the slab height. So using the, uh, that technique, um, uh, using, using that manipulation, uh, the, uh, this structure uh, was optimized. And finally, e the columns could be e e composed with only five centimeters uh, square. And maybe e some tree-like uh, shape, or, or I showed that uh, in a Venice uh, project. Um, uh, randomly e located columns uh, will be uh, applicable. And uh, I. And I am now oh, oh, interested uh, in a local oh, shape uh, uh, for the optimization. Uh, when the flat uh, plate uh, was uh, dimpled like this, or a groove, uh, or a wrinkle or was given, uh, it comes strong. Uh, so um, for example, oh, oh, it is not clear, but uh, uh, a smooth arch it will be considered as a, a gl uh, global or, or uh, globally optimized shape uh, at first. And then uh, the local optimization uh, will be applied uh, like this. Uh, in this case, a wrinkled uh, shape uh, was applied. And then, uh, finally, the, uh, the around here, uh, I tried the branching uh, manipulation. Uh, and finally, uh, at first, uh, it was uh, uh, all red. Uh, but uh, finally, uh, the red elements uh, has dis disappeared. And in this case, uh, the estimation value was a safety ratio. Oh, but uh, some other uh, estimation value, estimation of structure uh, is uh, uh, existent. Uh, in this case, uh, the uh, absorbed energy uh, of, the uh, of the structure uh, after uh, vibrated uh, by earthquake uh, is the parameter, uh, is the estimation value. Uh, uh, looking at uh, these uh, uh, absorbed energy uh, distribution, uh, uh, I'm uh, now uh, looking for uh, the way uh, how uh, we can uh, manipulate the shape uh, to, be, to, to become uh, better, uh, uh, better uh, condition. In this case, uh, for example, uh, the absorbed energy, uh, uh, energy absorption uh, will happen uh, in a, uh, by plastic hinge of the of material. So uh, when uh, at the bottom around here uh, and, and around here uh, uh, the uh, plastic hinge uh, was happened, uh, the four hinge uh, is a little uh, unstable. So uh, uh, these uh, hinges uh, could come uh, uh, around here, uh, around the top. Uh, the three hinge uh, will be more, more uh, will be better. Uh, so, uh, given the wrinkle or some other shape, uh, will be uh, uh, applic uh, applicable for this optimization. And other method uh, uh, or other shapes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm now looking for. And using those uh, optimization way e or uh, controlling the buckling, um, the elements uh, could be e could become really slight. It was uh, applicable or for also uh, the timber structures uh, like this. Uh, these are uh, the project with Kengo Kuma uh, trying the e Kigumi uh, structure. Kigumi is um, uh, tra uh, Japanese traditional uh, timber joinery system. Uh, 
and developing uh, the Kigumi structure. Uh, uh, at first, it was uh, just a cubic grid, uh, but uh, uh, it is coming more uh, complicated. And um, uh, for this Sunny Hills project, uh, it became uh, like this complicated. Uh, when I uh, tried this structure, uh, I really f uh, I could feel oh, the, uh, really the Komorebi e space uh, was generated inside. And uh, to realize uh, this structure, uh, the timber carving technique uh, is really e important. And uh, like this, um, uh, it was uh, uh, so uh, much complicated way it was carved. And Japanese carpenters uh, have worked uh, so much for uh, this structure. And um, that Sunny Hills uh, was a, a third project uh, trying uh, the Kigumi structure uh, with Kengokuma. Uh, but fourth project uh, is now going uh, now under under construction uh, using this uh, Kigumi system, Kigumi, Kigumi joinery. Um, at here, uh, four timbers are, are exactly crossing at one point. And so uh, the diagonal uh, grid uh, will be e composed. Uh, and uh, uh, this structure uh, is for uh, library and social care center uh, in Yusuhara in Japan. And the fifth project uh, is also going on. Uh, it is uh, not, uh, uh, the construction is not started yet, uh, but uh, uh, this is in Vancouver. Uh, Kengokuma uh, is trying uh, the carved tower, uh, the skyscraper uh, called carved tower. Uh, I'm not working for that, for this one, uh, but uh, at the bottom of the uh, skyscraper, uh, the uh, pergola, big, big pergola uh, will be built. It will have like this shape. Um, it, it will have uh, 15 meters high, and uh, this is just a part of them. Uh, it will have 40 meters long. And I have uh, developed uh, like this geometry. The columns will be located in a waved way, a waved shape. And uh, uh, looking at the, at, at the top, uh, it will be scale, scaled, or like, uh, like fanning. And also uh, the tilted elements uh, will be located uh, like this. And finally, it will come stable, or, but uh, uh, crossing uh, intersection uh, will be uh, the, uh, uh, the angles uh, and the twisted angles uh, will be different uh, from uh, place to place. So uh, uh, I have developed uh, uh, the uh, flexible or angle or and twisted angle or, uh, uh, to, uh, to be applicable or for intersection, uh, uh, I mean, I mean uh, interlocked uh, uh, joinery. It should be carved uh, in this way. So uh, uh, I, I, I'm wondering uh, if this could be carved by a C, by CNC machine. Uh, it will come really helpful, oh, but uh, not, not yet uh, the CNC machine uh, is uh, developed uh, uh, for this uh, structure, but in the future. Uh, I'm expecting uh, these uh, uh, these carving technique uh, will be it will come uh, uh, available or using uh, CNC and also uh, right. so uh, using those techniques um, uh, uh, the structure uh, could come slight. And for the environmental or, or analysis, uh, the spectrum uh, will be applicable, or I have got idea. Uh, uh, basic idea uh, is uh, one uh, single dimension spectrum analysis. Uh, I think somebody uh, 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 heard once uh, uh, one over F fluctuation. Uh, it, this is uh, the theory of wave, basically. Uh, but um, uh, 
in this theory, if the wave uh, could have one over a fluctuation character, uh, for example, music uh, or uh, airflow, or, uh, for the airflow, uh, we can feel uh, natural or, or comfortable. And that theory is applicable for a visual pattern. Uh, so um, uh, I have once tried uh, uh, to make that uh, character or in, uh, for uh, uh, this ceiling uh, or beam assemblage pattern. And after that, I have got idea uh, to uh, analyze uh, the visual scene with two-dimensional spectrum analysis. Uh, you can see uh, this photo. Oh, this is uh, Komorebi scene. And we have some other uh, attractive word. Uh, Sazanami, it's uh, ocean ripple. Or, or seseragi, it's river stream. Uh, basically, uh, for example, seseragi is uh, the, basically the sound of uh, stream. Uh, but uh, uh, when, we, when we hear uh, seseragi, we imagine uh, something, uh, uh, the shadow of, of uh, uh, shadow of trees and um, uh, a little humid air. Uh, it will be uh, a little cool, or oh, and um, uh, some uh, moss on the rocks and uh, uh, some other uh, uh, rocks will be uh, uh, existent, and uh, the uh, not so big river uh, will be uh, imagined. So uh, when we hear seseragi, uh, those atmosphere uh, will be imagined. So uh, uh, some environmental elements uh, will be uh, overlapped uh, in those scenes. And looking at, uh, at first, uh, looking at uh, the uh, visual pattern uh, of uh, Komorebi, uh, the spectrum, uh, two dimensions, no, two dimensional spectrum. Uh, will come uh, like this. Uh, this, this spectrum uh, is showing uh, uh, basically uh, this three-dimensional graph. Uh, uh, on the center, uh, it, it is showing the uh, amplitude of low, fre fre low frequency wave. And out, outer area, uh, it is showing high frequency wave. But we don't have to uh, understand uh, in detail or about those uh, uh, calculations. Uh, we, we only have to uh, watch uh, the pattern uh, of this uh, spectrum image. What we uh, can do uh, is like this. Um, uh, looking at uh, some uh, images, uh, some, some spectrum of, uh, of images. Uh, uh, for example, Komorebi will have like this spectrum. Uh, pampas grass scene it will have this spectrum. Uh, some weird ground uh, will have like this spectrum. You can see the, uh, this ground, uh, the, in this ground. Uh, the white dot uh, is uh, showing the uh, 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 bigger amplitude. So uh, in this case, uh, the white dot is scattered a lot. So uh, it is close to white noise uh, wave. So uh, uh, I guess people oh, will oh, not so much uh, feel oh, comfortable oh, uh, from this uh, white noise uh, wave. And after that, uh, um, uh, we can uh, list up uh, some photos uh, like this. This is my preference. Um, uh, I have uh, list up, listed up uh, these 10 images uh, for uh, my, uh, it is kind of template uh, for, for me. If I uh, listed up uh, these 10 images, uh, you can see some difference uh, in a spectrum. So, uh, Using, using this template, I can express uh, the uh, structures uh, which I have uh, uh, composed. Uh, this glass, uh, glass structure uh, in a workshop, uh, we have uh, tried uh, to realize uh, the Komorebi spectrum. Uh, you can see uh, from this 
pattern. Uh, the spectrum was like this, and this is really similar uh, to uh, this Komorebi spectrum. You can see uh, this one is quite similar uh, to this. And other, uh, for example, all of the uh, sunny hills, uh, it had uh, like this uh, spectrum. Uh, so uh, uh, looking at uh, my template, uh, it will be expressed uh, like uh, uh, this structure uh, has naturalness uh, similar to um, uh, this uh, fleecy cloud uh, or uh, pampas grass. Uh, around here uh, will be similar uh, to this spectrum. This is how all I can uh, express uh, the naturalness uh, of the structure. Uh, so uh, uh, not only in naturalness, uh, in the future, uh, some, uh, something uh, color preference or uh, artificial or, or natural or comfortable or, or some other uh, feelings uh, will be uh, uh, analyzed uh, using this uh, method. And I think uh, not only using this uh, spectrum method, uh, some other uh, mathematical or, or, or geometrical or, or analysis uh, will be applicable or I'm ex expecting. And uh, for this uh, spectrum anal analysis, uh, this is just, um, ju uh, I have just started uh, these analysis, uh, these uh, research. Uh, so uh, uh, in these two years, so uh, uh, it is not, it is so unclear for me. But uh, uh, for example, or testing uh, like this, this pattern, uh, putting the, just a circle or a lot, uh, we can uh, we can know how all this natural or komorebi like spectrum uh, will be generated. You can see uh, not only a uh, nature uh, object uh, will generate uh, the, the uh, like this uh, spectrum uh, using just a rectangle or pattern. Uh, we you can generate. Uh, the uh, somehow or natural patterns like this. So uh, uh, in the workshop, um, uh, I sometimes trying uh, those uh, uh, spectrum analysis uh, with uh, with the students. And for the workshop um, uh, or uh, in my studio in my school, or I'm trying uh, some. Uh, uh, structures uh, composed, uh, composed with uh, uh, really lightweight uh, or ductile structure. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, it is called nebuta uh, tectonic. Nebuta uh, is, um, uh, oh, I don't, I don't have, oh, I don't have image, um, sorry. Um, maybe around here, oh, sorry, uh, I don't have image. Uh, nebuta uh, is a um, uh, uh, float uh, for the uh, festival or in Japan. A big float uh, will be uh, built every year uh, using uh, steel wires and washi paper. Uh, it is covered with washi paper like this. Uh, so it comes really a uh, um, uh, lightweight uh, structure. Uh, you know, uh, the Japanese umbrella uh, is also composed with uh, slight elements uh, and slight frame and also washi paper. Uh, and with the students, uh, I have uh, developed uh, uh, these structures uh, uh, through uh, the uh, like this uh, material or uh, strength test of material, or uh, reducing uh, the drag coefficient uh, of, uh, the sh of the shape. And finally, uh, the structure uh, has come like this. Uh, it is not so much um, uh, building shape, uh, 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 shape of the building yet. Uh, but uh, first year, uh, we have developed uh, like this, um, uh, something cloud-like uh, shape and uh, 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 sphere-like shape. 
And second year, uh, we have developed uh, uh, a little more, uh, uh, how to say, um, spanned uh, structure. And I'm thinking uh, this uh, lightweight structure uh, will work uh, as um, uh, uh, the structure uh, pre preventing death in the event of a clasp. Uh, that means uh, when the earthquake or some, something uh, storm uh, has happened, um, even the structure has collapsed, uh, the people inside there uh, will not die. Uh, that idea uh, is uh, somehow oh, oh, the dream uh, uh, for, for us uh, structural engineers. Uh, but I think, uh, I, I'm thinking um, uh, that idea uh, will be applicable oh, for uh, big buildings. So uh, uh, I'm feeling these uh, uh, workshop uh, experiments are, are looking for uh, the structure uh, like that. And um, uh, the glass structure uh, I have developed uh, in a um, uh, workshop uh, is like this. It, this is uh, using um, uh, really strong uh, glass. It is called Leoflex or Dragon Trail, or provided by a uh, Japanese uh, glass company. Uh, I think you know Gorilla Glass. Uh, it is similar. Uh, this glass uh, is similar to gori Gorilla Glass. Uh, using only 1.3 millimeters glass, uh, we could compose uh, this structure. And also, we had to uh, manipulate uh, the buckling phenomenon uh, using uh, three-dimensional uh, configuration. And finally, we could build uh, like this uh, uh, vault-like uh, structure. And also, oh, I have tried in, uh, in Tokyo, oh, again, uh, uh, to build uh, with, the uh, with the students uh, like this, uh, something um, dome-like structure. In this, wor uh, in, in this workshop, I, I could feel uh, another uh, idea uh, of geometry uh, that was, um, when you think um, uh, put one, uh, one more uh, plate uh, to the structure, uh, because the holes uh, were uh, already located, um, uh, more than three points uh, should be connected uh, to the structure uh, to make it stable. But it seems uh, really hard uh, uh, to attach uh, the uh, more than three points, because uh, uh, when when we think uh, the hole to hole and hole or is uh, exactly the exactly the point, but uh, uh, in the workshop uh, we could feel or uh, we could find uh, it is easy to uh, figure out how or more than three points uh, could be connected. Uh, that was uh, because of this connection. Uh, we used uh, aluminum strap uh, for uh, the fastener uh, to connect a uh, hole to hole. Uh, when uh, we could see the hole or to hole, uh, uh, the location of two holes, uh, we we can uh, bend uh, bend or twist uh, the strap uh, to uh, connect. So uh, this kind of uh, fastener or, or point uh, can be considered as something unclear or, or fuzzy point. So uh, I'm, I'm calling now it as a, a fuzzy node. What we, uh, what I uh, am wondering is how the fuzzy node uh, can be expressed in a mathematical way. Uh, if we could uh, uh, express uh, the ma in a mathematical way, uh, we can uh, manipulate these pieces uh, in the display, uh, by, uh, I mean, uh, uh, by the computer. Uh, so uh, I'm now trying uh, to solve uh, the, uh, this method uh, using fuzzy node. Uh, it is. It is still going on, uh, but uh, uh, the problem uh, is solving uh, this, uh, these matrices uh, to be uh, 
uh, to be solved. Uh, the basic idea uh, is like this. Uh, there's some uh, fuzzy values around here in a black uh, point. Uh, but uh, uh, not determining uh, clearly the black points, uh, how, uh, if we could solve uh, these values, uh, it, is, it comes uh, uh, really helpful or to uh, draw the structures uh, in the display. And this idea uh, was uh, really uh, useful or for uh, other uh, geometries. Uh, like this, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the connected cubes uh, structure uh, is also uh, considered uh, having the, uh, like this fuzzy node. And I'm expecting uh, this fuzzy node idea uh, will be applicable uh, for other uh, many structures. So um, uh, geometrical manipulation uh, is really, uh, uh, if we could uh, uh, develop uh, those uh, complicated geometrical manipulation, uh, it is uh, applicable for also the optimization uh, and also these um, uh, configuration uh, or structure. Uh, the, this structure uh, is also similar to that idea. Uh, this is uh, uh, the, uh, also the workshop um, I have tried uh, using uh, using PT plastic. Um, uh, it's transparent uh, plastic, and the students have developed uh, like this piece. Uh, triangle, or uh, I'm not sure, uh, we called it uh, uh, snowflake, uh, but uh, uh, like this piece was uh, configured uh, at here. Uh, we used uh, almost 800 pieces to here. The shape had uh, like this, uh, like this. Uh, it can be interlocked uh, or slotted in into these slits. So uh, the configuration uh, is really a, a configuration pattern uh, is uh, a lot. Uh, there are a lot of uh, patterns. So uh, uh, how to make uh, this structure or into structural analysis model was uh, the problem. But finally, we could find uh, these process uh, to make the structural analysis model. Oh, and when we could find uh, this process, alg algorithm, uh, to make the structural analysis model, oh, we could compose uh, the uh, optimization software uh, like this. And in this case, uh, the students could uh, find uh, uh, the configuration uh, to have Komorebi-like uh, spectrum. So oh, we call, uh, uh, this was uh, the target uh, of the structure. So both um, uh, dynamics matter, or, I mean uh, structural performance and environmental performance uh, was the target uh, for this structure. Uh, so uh, that's how oh, uh, the estimation value will work for the structure. And also, uh, not only using Grasshopper, uh, using Excel uh, will be uh, good to uh, manipulate uh, the geometry. Uh, for example, uh, this is already uh, developed like this. Right. Yeah, like this. Uh, 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 the Excel uh, uh, is really e easy to manipulate uh, the geometry. Uh, and uh, when, uh, when I uh, start, uh, oh, that's error. Uh, something, uh, oh, this. Yeah, I got, uh, yeah, I can see. Uh, when, it when I push the button, uh, the same as uh, Grasshopper, or the software will come up. And um, uh, this model is really complicated, but, uh, so uh, it, the, it takes time to cal calculate. Uh, but uh, finally, e the safety color uh, will all be displayed. So uh, this component uh, is also work, working as an um, uh, optimization uh, algorithm. 
Yeah, like this. Right. So you can see uh, the, uh, how the geometrical manipulation uh, and the structural performance and uh, environmental matters uh, are uh, related uh, uh, to compose uh, the really uh, complicated uh, uh, structure. Uh, or not only uh, like this uh, kind of organic uh, uh, shape, uh, just uh, 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 also uh, for the simple uh, shape, uh, this um, uh, manipulation uh, will be applicable. Uh, so uh, I'm ex expecting uh, this development or survey uh, will be uh, really um, uh, will work uh, uh, soon or in the future. All right. I think uh, I have to finish. Um, it's uh, it's good. It's time. Uh, so, uh, uh, all right. That's all. Uh, I uh, almost I could uh, introduce. Uh, all right. Uh, almost I could show. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, uh, uh, I'm inter interested in now. Oh, thank you. <laughs>